have a family to share it with? Like I have like, a family. You no, know, but they'll die the off. The fact that I That's don't, I like, don't. No, I have sister, I have brothers, mm-hmm. I have nieces and, nieces and nephews. Have, have, okay, so okay. like they will and die before they, they meet up fully. And that is not the same fully. thing, man. You can't. You just can't compare relatives to your offspring. It's too. Completely different types of love. Subscribe to this channel. In case you are watching this channel, I have not subscribed. And one day the party runs out. Uh, I don't even Just think. to add to your point, um, I, I learned this quite a few years ago that a greatest achievement someone could ever have is to see their grandchildren. So when people talk about their parent, like you having kids and how is it going to affect your kids, it's like the byproduct of you having kids will be your grandkids and that's when you'll see the and reap the rewards mm-hmm. of everything you'll see everything come full mm-hmm. full what's it called full, full circle? circle full circle you'll see everything come <laughs> you'll see everything come full circle and it's more so that you need to have kids in order to have grandkids and if you leave it too late you'll be in a position where you'll be 60 and you may see other family members mm-hmm. with grandkids but you have nothing to show for your life through your lines there will I'm be i'm gonna like come out with that travel picture or whatever do you know what i mean be nobody but, yeah, but nobody's gonna look at it because no one's gonna I care i don't care yeah. i don't care like he said, he said i probably will not care about do the you... grandchildren or whatever okay, like. you... i swear i swear women live in the moment i i think that is a saying uh i'm not sure but i've i've been thinking this a lot recently i really feel like women just live in the moment and that's perfectly fine because that's what they enjoy but they don't typically think with foresight they don't typically think in the future they don't think they don't ever try to think ahead at least from what i've been seeing uh i know some women probably do obviously whenever i say most that's what i mean not all but most but i just feel like most women they don't they choose not to think ahead for some reason i think they choose not to think in the future because they know it's it's sad they know that the path that they're taking is leading to a shitty future and they just choose not to think about it which is a terrible terrible mindset to have you need to think about what you're doing and where you're what steps you're taking and where it's going to lead you it's chess not checkers do you think that a life that's only about you is worth living where it's just me 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 selfish right. all the time it's everything's about yeah. me and my feelings but mm. if you if you if you're alone forever that's that's what that's life's what about it's you like to me life's about people no. and if i don't if i don't yes. have a family to share it with like i have like, a family no, but they're, they're, they'll die the off fact that i that's don't like, i don't no i have oh. sister i have brothers mm-hmm. i have mm-hmm. nieces and, and nephews have, have, okay, so okay, okay. like they will and die before they, they have meet fully that is not absolutely. the same thing man Sorry for pausing again, but that is not the same thing. I have a sister. I lost my dad. I have a mom. We don't really have a good relationship, but they are nothing compared to my children. Like it's, I love them to death. Uh, well, I guess I should just be talking about my sister because like I said, everybody else is kind of whittled off, but I love my sister to death and I would do everything, anything for my sister. But whenever it's coming to comparing her to my children, there is no comparison and i feel like it's the same with her whenever it comes to her child i would want her to pick her child over me it's like the 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 love that you have for a child is just crazy and i don't think people understand that because they're born loving their parents like they're taught to love their parents like I, that's what i've been noticing is like my son will tell me he loves me and i know that he doesn't know what the fuck he means whenever he says that but i do i i, I would hope that he loves me I, I i don't know i just i just don't think that since the type of love that you have with a with a parent to a kid i don't feel like kids get to witness it until they have their own kid themselves it doesn't matter how old you get like and then like the same with pets and stuff like there is no there is no feeling comparable to the love you have for a child at least me i know there's a bunch of deadbeat parents that don't care about the kids and and I, i just don't see how i don't see how in the fuck they can do that but like you can't you just can't compare relatives to your offspring <laughs> it's just there there's two different games right there it's, it's two it's two completely different types of love do you know what i mean yeah there's no one that will be at your funeral talking about how hard you worked in your great career yeah right. and like honestly the, like my channel's pretty big like by and large most people would say i'm very successful at my age it means nothing if i don't get married nothing yeah. like different it means point of view. Different it's point no of view. i mean yeah. it's not a different like nothing, like i think nothing, a girl you don't get married if, or nothing you don't have children and if i don't get married like honestly a girl that can't get married is a loser 
Honestly, so just like, just like, that just, just like, yeah, like just like, just like, just like Marie Curie. You uh, loser, loser. They, I mean, look at Lolo they Jones or whatever. Because we still study what well, she wait, wait, wait. But what discovered. You, what, like, you like, mentioned grandchildren. Okay. So you, what if you have children, but you're not out of out of marriage? Out of wedlock. I'd be a loser. Right. Yeah, I think but that's you have, But you have grandchildren and you'll have you? that, the memories that you were talking about. you still have that. No, but you won't have that. Be, okay, so I raise my kids at every statistical disadvantage. That's selfish on me. Yeah, no, but like, that's selfish on you, me. You have children, they're grown, uh -huh. they've, they've had grandchildren, mm -hmm. and then now you're divorcing for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Have you not still had that life that he's been talking about? You still have the that's grandchildren, you still have it there. You still have that full circle. I, thing. Okay, I would say I grew up in a family, I have nine siblings. Mm. I have two parents. They've been married for like 30 years. It is not the same when there's two Christmases. It's not the same. Yeah. Like the, that, yeah. I, I, I talk to people from like split family homes and tell them about like the traditions that me and my family have. Like we go as adults, take pictures with Santa every year. We all go to the 4th of July. The whole family come. Like we do these events all year. It's actually stressful because my mom expects us to be at so much shit. But you don't get that in a single parent home. And when I talk to people from single parent homes, they're jealous. I never, tr I never had that in that sense that she had it. I had, we had game nights with my family. It was really whenever my grandma was still alive, and even then, we still had people that were popping in and out. So it wasn't like everybody was there all the time, and and this and that. And I don't really think that's everybody because everybody got their own families to go to. Whenever you're talking about bringing in like a spouse or something, like you had to go see their parents and stuff. But I had that for a few years while my grandma was alive, and. While uh, my situation was weird, let's just say that, but we had this, we had game nights and we had that for a few years until, um, I'm not really sure what happened. It wasn't because my grandma died. It was, I think the family just started having their own families and they started separating. I, I'm not really sure, but though, uh, those few, those nights that we had when we was playing games and having jokes and just, just having fun, those was probably the, the happiest I've ever been during my childhood. And with, with the, She's saying like, if you, well, what if you have all this and then you get divorced? I, that's that's a that's a straw man argument. I don't think that has anything to do with what the fuck she's saying. It, 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 you can work your whole life and have an amazing life and and this and that, but once you've already had all your fun, because it does get old eventually. No matter how much money you have, uh, doing stuff that you enjoy will eventually become old. What never gets old is watching your children grow up. What never gets old is having family moments. What never get those will always give you some type of dopamine rush in your head that makes you feel warm inside. Uh, I feel like I wanted to say more, uh, fucking can't remember it, but hopefully it comes back. Like they, they wish they had that. And it's like, why would I put my kids at every statistical disadvantage? Cause it's not about me anymore. Once I have children who fuck my happiness. Yeah. No, but the children, um, the yes, point I made, the children yes. are grown up now. They're not kids. Like you've had your marriage. You, they lived matter. in a two parent household. They've grown up. They've gone to college, uni, whatever. They're older. They've had children. Mm -hmm. You have grandchildren, but now the only, dif the only difference is you weren't married. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, am I still with the husband? I just get divorced later. No, like you weren't married. No, but you had children. Oh, I, I'm okay with like, a like a committed. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I know the laws are kind of shit for men. So if it, if it, if it was something similar, but you don't get the government involved, fine. Yeah, that's my philosophy. But, I told my girlfriend I'll give her a wedding, I'll give her the wing ring, I'll give her every single thing that she has dreamed of as a little girl. But the um, the government can fuck off, dog. <laughs> And I've said plenty of times in my videos before, I will never leave my girl hanging out to dry no matter what. I will sell my own house to make sure that she has somewhere to live to take care of the kids. Even if she don't have kids, I'll make sure she has somewhere to live. I will never leave my girl out to dry. And even if, even if she has a job, I feel like it is something men should do because it's it's, it's looking out for others. It's what men do. It's what we are. We look out for others. But with that said, fuck the government. <laughs> I don't need them to tell me what to do. I'm a man. I'll do it my fucking self. That, that's, that's how I feel about marriage. And the ring like, isn't, no, I would say you still need a ring. It's just like there's, it. there's people that do it outside of the government. Like, the, you know, they do it in their church or whatever. So you need the ring for that whole grandchildren that, I mean, I, yeah, you should, you should be married before you have kids, whether it's should. with the government or not. So you're saying She's you should, is it possession. because of God or because of government? Because that, it, it, that gives the kids the best outcomes. That you got married? Yes. Yeah, I'm in that video there, y'all. Uh, it was almost over anyways, and I feel like they were just going to keep talking in circles. But please like the video. If you got anything to say about the video, let me know down below. You know I read every single comment. And if you fuck with your boy, will you please give me a subscription? With that being said, deuces. Niggas falling off and they really ain't with it. Five to a die, double up, yeah, I'm with it. Two pieces of a side to get shot through your fitting. Put a nigga on.
on and I knock a nigga off. Make my own way, niggas know that I'm a boss. 10, 20, 30, yeah, had them bitches lost. Have you ever seen a bundle, baby girl, for a sauce? I'm a big step, I'll rap for my.